Hey everyone, on today's video, we are going to look at what I use in my garage to lift vehicles. It is the QuickJack BL5000 SLX. So I'm gonna do a quick review, so stay tuned. So what you need to know is once you buy it, you actually get three boxes. You get the left track, you get the right track, and you get the main unit. So let's take a closer look. So here's a unit, it's a nice little compact unit. You have your two lines coming out, and if you follow along the floor, those go right to your quick jacks. They have a really nice uh, disconnects, so they're very easy to take off if you want to, and uh, they don't even leak when you unpop them, so, or unclip them, I should say. And you can also unclip them here, so that's really good. And then you have your control up, down. You can get it in a few different voltages. Uh, I got 120 volts, or 110, 120. You can get it in a 240, I think, or 220, and you can also get it, which is really interesting, you can get it in a 12 volt for the track. So if you have a Corvette or a fancy car or whatever you're taking on the track, you can actually use it in the pits to raise your vehicle up if you're changing all four tires. So I'll show you how long they take to raise. I'll just click the up button. You have the proportioning valve and they actually, uh, they go up fairly quickly and there's two detent stops. So we got a halfway one and then the full one. And they're actually not that much in different in height, I guess, because the geometry of the quick jacks. And there's the first one. I won't go all the way because in order to put them back down, there's no weight. So what I do is I step on them, I put my whole body weight, I sort of straddle it and push the down button to make them go down. But you can see the proportioning valve actually, they raise the same height. So it does an awesome job lifting the car. And the nice thing is you can do exhaust, you can do tons of things in between, whereas a scissor jack, you can't really do that. Now to lower them, what I'll do is I'll just press it down, but because uh, there's no weight, if you press it down, you'll see it, it takes, uh, won't really go down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna stand on top, don't mind my feet. And then as soon as I stand on top, and push the button. There, now you can see there they're actually going down. So that's how uh, you lower them. If there's no car, all you have to do is stand on them and then they will go back down. You'll hear them dropping. I know it's hard to see the depth there, depth perception, but there you can see they are in fact coming down. There we go, just like so and and there you go, they're back down. So this thing is pretty handy and you know what? It lifts even my Hellcat, which was big and it also lifts my van, which I needed to use the special adapters to get it up higher. So let's see it in action and then we'll talk more about the adapters. You can see here's the button. So we're just gonna press up. We have it set up on our Honda Civic right now. So we're gonna press up. And you can see we're, you can see how fast it lifts. And then once we get to the last uh, lock, we'll stop. There we go. And then we can just, there we go. And that's what I was doing. I was just pressing the down. It's fully on its locks there. So if we come in here and we want to see how much we actually have, how much space, there's the tire. And we have, about eight and a half inches. So that's quite a bit of clearance uh, and that's below the tire. So once you take the tire off, you're gonna have even more. And then if you look underneath the vehicle, you can see you actually have quite a bit. There's a lot of room underneath the vehicle. Clearance to the front, I guess, bumper or spoiler, you can see it's uh, about 20 and a half inches. There's where we are. So plenty of room to get under there for an oil change or do any type of suspension work, anything like that. So you do have quite a bit of room. Uh, and I should keep in mind or note, these are the more shallow blocks you can use. I'll show you the other blocks. Just a quick measurement here. So we got actually just under, just under an inch. So it's great. Uh, I lift uh, Corvettes and stuff like that, a lot of low profile vehicles. It's great for that, these low blocks. So it will lift low vehicles. And then, like I said earlier, if you really need to, you can use the high ones that we described. So the next blocks it comes with, these ones here are three inches. This is the next step up. And then it also comes with, or I shouldn't say it comes with, you, you can buy, it doesn't come with it, nothing's for free. You can get these and I use these on a lot of vans. So these here you can put in and these are, I guess, just over seven inches. But the thing with these is you can actually take them apart. So if you go like this, you can take them apart. And there you go, now we're around four and a half inches is what we're at for height. So we got, you know, three, four and a half. We can change it back. And 
just over seven, about seven and a half. There you can see there's an undershot of the jacks. So you can see how I store them. I just leave them underneath the vehicle. So as long as you center the vehicle properly, there's no need to hang them on the wall or anything like that. You can just uh, leave them on the floor and just make sure your vehicle's centered when you're driving it into the garage. So that's it for my video. Hopefully you've enjoyed my little review of the QuickJack. I find they're a great addition to the garage. I just have them set up on the wall, just like that, just plugged in and set up. Now the nice thing is, like I said, they don't actually take up any storage because as soon as I drive my vehicle in, I just drive it and center it so I can use it to, to uh, lift the vehicle. So I don't have to hang these on the wall. They don't really take up any space. I just leave them on the floor all the time and sweep around and make sure everything's clean.